Hey everyone, it's Kayvon with Iskari Art. So, I know I did a video, one of my first videos was on uh, resin safety. And I wanted to actually update that video with new information, new thanks to the subscribers, the comments, and they've actually helped me find the right tools for resin safety. So, to begin, the first thing that we need to focus on is the safety, the, the mask. So this is basically a 3M mask that has interchangeable uh, filters. So these particular filters are used for uh, paint and mold. They protect you against paint and mold, basically dust particles. So if you're sanding your resin, um, if you're sanding the resin painting with uh, fine grit sandpaper, any kind of sandpaper, you would use this to protect yourself against the sand, the, the particles. And they come basically, it's called a P100 uh, dust particle filter, okay? So this does offer a little bit of protection, um, but you know, not as much as uh, these. So these are called uh, organic vapor acid gas cartridge. So since you're, if you're heating up the resin, it emits a gas, it emits uh, fumes. And what they're recommending is to use these filters. So these filters basically will fit on top of the typical 3M mask. They, they are the same kind. So if you have the, the, this type of filter system, filtration system, you might as well get this kind of uh, filtration. And it's called the, it's a P1, uh, it's actually, three, it's by 3M, it's 60923. I don't know if you can see that right there. And this helps you protect, it protects you basically against fumes, gases, organic vapors, um, all that sort. The second correction that I want to make is that I originally was using latex gloves. Although latex does provide a level of protection, I would recommend nitrile gloves. So nitrile gloves are a little bit thicker. They, they do, uh, these are blue, um, they're thicker. They don't uh, break as easily, and they have more protection against uh, resin and, and that kind of thing. Um, so the rest of it is the same. You always wear safety glasses or safety goggles. I would recommend goggles instead to cover the surrounding around your eyes because you don't want those fumes to get into your system in any way. Um, now the filters uh, you can also you could purchase from. Uh, from Amazon, the the old filters that I had, these, I mean, it's recommended to switch them out. Uh, it's on the packaging, I'm not exactly sure, it just depends on how much resin you're doing. Um, if you're switching these out, if they're old and you're done with them, you might as well get these filters uh, for three, for full, full protection. Oh, the other thing, for guys, if you are, uh, if you have a beard like mine, if you have any kind of beard or facial hair, it is recommended to, if you were to get a full seal around this, it's recommended to shave the goatee, the beard, because you're not going to get a full seal, because the hair, the hair will not allow you to get a full seal, um, and that's 100% seal. Um, the hair will obviously, it'll give you a little bit of a seal with the hair, but it's not recommended. Uh, I have not been doing resin lately. Uh, I may start doing resin again. I just. You know, I'm, these cartridges right now are very hard to find because of uh, possibly the coronavirus and all that jazz. I think people are limiting, their, you're limited in finding these, but you may find them there, you know, Amazon or any local hardware store. But uh, other than that, uh, that's it. Thank you, everyone.